The Rise and Fall of the DM Regime by Amanda, Keaton, and Michelle. All right, to start off, here's a little bit of the situation in Vietnam um, due to World War One. Uh, or World War II. Before World War II, Vietnam had been a part of the French Empire, and then during the war, um, the Japanese invaded. But uh, once the Japanese withdrew, uh, the people of Vietnam chose to take over there um, and establish their own government. Um, he would, they were led by Ho, Ho Chi Minh. Um, at the end of the war, however, the Allies gave South Vietnam back to the French, and the North was left to the non-communist Chinese. Um, now, real quick, uh, the origins of the Diem regime. Uh, Diem, just as an overview, he was the first president of South Vietnam, and he led the effort to create the Republic of Vietnam, and he was an anti-communist and was supported by the U.S. You can see his pretty face right there. He's a pretty dashing man. Um, all right, so uh, his rise to power, um, he started, he worked his way through the ranks of civil service. He started actually working at the Royal Library, um, but then was promoted to a, a district and then provincial chief, um, and eventually married the daughter of um, uh, the Catholic head of the Council of Ministers. Um, and by 1920s, the French were impressed with him, but irritated that he frequently called to grant more autonomy to the Vietnamese. Um, he became a popular public figure, um, and he, uh, from 1929 to 1931, uh, he helped suppress anti, uh, suppress communist organized peasant revolts. Um, he uh, contemplated resigning, but um, encouragement from the populace convinced him to persist. Um, he actually first encountered communists di distributing propaganda while riding horseback through the region near um, one of the cities that he controlled. Um, and he involved himself in anti-communist activities for the first time, and he printed out his own pamphlets to hand out as well. Um, eventually, he was appointed by the French to be uh, the interior minister, um, but after calling to introduce Vietnamese legislature, which he was constantly behind. Uh, he was stripped of his decorations and uh, titles and threatened to be arrested. Okay, to continue um, his rise to popularity, after the Japanese withdrew during World War II, um, Diem refused to join the Viet Minh because um, it was apparently his brother, Khoi, uh, was buried alive by the Viet Minh cadres, so he refused to join them. Um, he ended up co-founding the Vietnam National Alliance, which called for France to grant uh, Vietnam dominion status. Um, and he published a new manifesto in newspapers, but it didn't really raise too much interest. Um, and so he began to uh, lobby in Western countries um, in, uh, for support. Um, he traveled to the Europe and U.S., and he spoke at universities, and he, um, given his, like, heavy religious, religious background, he uh, lobbied for Catholic support, um, and this was pretty successful. He did garner a lot of um, attention and support from the U.S., and um, as the French power in Vietnam declined, Diem's support in the U.S. increased. Um, and then with the when he finally uh, consolidated his power was with the fall of Bien Pho in 1954 um, to the Viet Minh, and uh, French control in Vietnam collapsed, and Bao Dai needed a foreign help to sustain his state of Vietnam. Um, realizing Diem's popularity among the American policymakers, Bao Dai appointed him uh, to power after su signing the Geneva Accords. Now on to the opposition to the Diem regime. A low-level insurgency began to take shape in South Vietnam in 1957. Finally, in January of 1959, under pressure from, so from, <laughs> from Southern Viet Cong cadres, Hanoi's Central Committee issued a secret resolution authorizing the use of armed insurgency in the South with supplies and troops from the North. In 1960, the South Vietnamese coup attempt occurred. An attempted military coup against Diem began in November 1960 when three battalions of South Vietnamese paratroopers and a unit of Marines entered the capital, Saigon. Most of the men thought they were rescuing Diem from a mutiny by his own guard at the presidential palace. 
They were led by Lieutenant Colonel Vuong Van Dong, a 28-year-old officer who had done part of his training in the United States, where he was regarded as, a brilliantly, as brilliantly promising. The rebels went straight the rebels went straight for the palace and raked it with gunfire, smashing the windows. One machine gun fired into Diem's bedroom and might have killed him in his bed if he had not happened to get up shortly before. He and his brother took refuge in the cellar while the presidential guard resisted bravely. Trapped in the palace, Diem lured the rebels into a ceasefire for negotiations in which he promised to reform, reform the system while waiting for other army units to come to his aid. The rebels had failed to cut off the palace's phone lines, which allowed Diem to make calls to senior officers outside Saigon. They had also failed to block the roads leading to the city, and two divisions of Loyalist troops with tanks were able to make their way in. 400 people were killed in the ensuing battle, which the, which the outnumbered rebels lost. On December 20, 1960, under instructions from Hanoi, Southern Communists estab established the Viet Cong, or the NLF, in order to overthrow the government of the South. The NLF was made up of two distinct groups. One was the South Vietnam, were South Vietnamese intellectuals who opposed the government and were nationalists, and the second were communists who had remained in the South after the Parisian and regrouping of 1954, as well as those who, who had come from the North together with local peasants. While there were many non-communist members of the NLF, they were subject to the control of the party cadres and increasingly sidelined as the conflict continued. They did, however, enable the NLF to portray itself as a primarily nationalist rather than communist movement, despite being in almost direct control by the northern regime. Diem's counterinsurgency, or reaction to the opposition, was the Strategic Hamlet Program, a plan by the governments of South Vietnam and the United States during the Vietnam War to combat the communist insurgency by means of population transfer. The goal of the plan was to isolate rural peasants from contact uh, and influence by the National Liberation Front, or the NLF. This was done through the consolidation of 14,000 villages of South Vietnam into 11,000 secure hamlets, each with its own houses, schools, wells, and watchtowers. The hamlets were intended to isolate the NLF from, from the villages, their source of recruiting soldiers, supplies, and information. The strategic hamlet plan came with the hope that this would lead to increased loyalty by the peasantry towards the government. However, the program led to a decrease in support for Diem's regime and an increase in sympathy for communist efforts. The causes of the Diem regime's collapse. Um, the first cause is that Diem tried to reform the land policies that had already been in structure, and so basically um, rent had been eliminated for about 10 years from 1945 to 1955, and then Diem reversed this policy, which made the peasants very angry because now they had to pay for their land, which they had thought was already theirs because they had been farming it for six years or ten years before, and they thought it was theirs. Um, but in 1958, he made a policy that made the peasants pay for all their land in six yearly installments. This was extremely costful, costly, and made the peasants angry because for the past 10 years, they thought the land was theirs. Um, also, Diem was in constant fear of opposition and assassination. He worked very hard to eliminate any possible threats to his rule. In 1956, he refused to hold the election stipulated in the Geneva Accords, arguing that the Northerners would be compelled to vote communist. As a result, he was imprisoned, he impres imprisoned opposing leaders and targeted the Viet Minh that remained in the South. Also, Diem favored Catholics. The Catholics only made up about 10% of the South Vietnamese population, and Buddhists made up the other 90%. So, obviously, this um, led for a lot of um, anger within the population because only 10% of the population was being or the minority of the population was being favored over the majority that were Buddhists. Um, this led to further dissatisfaction within his, re within his regime and created opposition within the South. In 1957, the Viet Cong, which were the um, South Vietnamese communists, they took advantage of the disgruntled peasants and organized resistance groups in the countryside. They plotted political assassinations against government officials. And there were a ton of these assassinations. Like in 1959, 
there were 1,200 assassinations. And in 1961, there were 4,000 assassinations. Um, and this formed into the National Liberation Front, which Michelle talked about earlier, which became the political party for the Viet Cong. It maintained control of, over South Vietnam and much of the countryside. Also, Michelle mentioned this as well, the strategic hamlets, the government created housing for the South Vietn Vietnamese, and this created more dissension against the peasants because they were kicked out of their um, houses and forced to live in government hamlets um, to, quote-unquote, protect the peasants from looting and pillaging by the Viet Cong. But really, they were there to prevent the Viet Cong from gaining followers. The United States' reaction, they were very alarmed when they found out about the brutality of Diem's regime because in the, re in the beginning they had supported Diem. Um, they were horrified that were, they were supporting such a leader and therefore the U.S. supported the South Vietnamese soldiers who wanted to overthrow Diem. Um, now, blah, November 1963, Diem was assassinated and replaced by a military junta that had little support. But in 1965, General... Win Van Thi become, became the president and provides a facade of stability, but really his regime is just as corrupt as DM's was. And that's it, folks. Thank you. Goodbye.